I, mean, I still eat meat. I still eat whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? So reality is, this is how you essentially lose weight without having to really change anything. All workout routines and meal plans are posted down in the description below. Enjoy the video. Thank you. Damn, damn, damn. This is this is your your mind. Mind. June 2. Smooth. Hey, hey, hey. Hit that sub button. Hit it down. Let's get straight to it, man. Today's video topic, y'all seen the title. It's how to lose weight, right? Now, you want to learn how to lose weight without having to go into this little, you know, you know, this crazy diet of all this BS of eating leaves and trees and, you know, and, and, and only eating one time a day. Bro, the reality is, bro, you can lose weight. You can get cut. You can get cut without having to do any of that, bro. I still eat Burger King. I still eat McDonald's. Well, not anymore, but I can, I can still do it if I wanted to. You know what I mean? I still eat meat. I still eat whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? So reality is, this is how you essentially lose weight without having to really change anything. Let's get straight to it. First thing is you must understand how calories work, right? Essentially, in order to lose weight, you must consume less than what you normally consume. That's the basics behind it. It's that simple. Losing weight is literally that easy and it's that simple. Now, how do you do that? There is something called a caloric deficit. Right? And there's a difference between a caloric surplus and then there's a caloric deficit. A surplus means eating more than what is necessary. A deficit is the exact opposite, right? Hence the word D. Subtraction. B. Deficit, right? You're decreasing your consumption. So, a caloric deficit in simple terms is you eating less than what the average person your size consumes. That's how you lose weight. So you don't have to eat a specific meal or a specific thing. You just gotta make sure you're not eating more calories than you used to eat, which is kind of common sense, right? I mean, we're trying to lose weight. It's that simple. So I do have a meal plan down in the description that explains specific meals that you can eat that is still good and healthy for you, while at the same time, not high in calories, okay? Let me give you guys an example. I'm about six foot, 100 and, 70 pounds, that's how much I weigh at the beginning of the summertime, right? Then I enter the caloric surplus because I wanted to gain weight. And I can see I'm a lot bigger now. Now I'm about six foot 181, okay? Now with this being said, how did I do this? Well, I ate more calories than the average person my size is supposed to consume. Therefore, my intake was increased. Therefore, my body weight increased. Now, if you want to gain, if you want to lose weight, you do the exact opposite of what I did, right? So let's say you were about the same thing as me, six foot, 190 something, or two, 220, and you wanted to lose weight, you're just supposed to consume less calories than you normally eat. So let's say you eat about 2,400 calories every day, you want to go ahead and do 500 less than that. So that's 1,900, right? And you consume that consistently. So it doesn't matter what you eat, just make sure you're counting your calories, okay? A, a burger is about 540. So you can still eat a burger in a day. You can still eat a burger, um, some fries, and a, 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 a whole meal, which is 1100, but you only got about 800 calories left to go. So you can finish that off with a snack, a drink, whatever it is. Make sure you're consuming less calories than what the average person you're assigned to consume. Now, like I said, in my Patreon, it explains how you can figure out how many calories you're supposed to consume for your size and your weight. And you also, it also gives you meal and meal plans to specify for you that can help you out with your journey. But essentially, it's just understanding to consume less calories. Now, for part two, you need to sweat, right? Sweat a lot. That's essentially an extremely, extremely big thing that comes with losing weight that a lot of people completely ignore, and that is sweating, okay? And how do you sweat? Well, eventually you're just conditioning, okay? Now, for those who want to turn that fat into muscle, that's a completely different conversation. That's cutting. We're not cutting. We're losing weight. It's two completely different things, okay? Because you can, you can cut. Cutting means you're turning that fat into muscle, which that essentially is requiring you to work out and lift heavy weights. But if you're just trying to lose weight, 
This is purely to just lose weight. Condition a lot. So run, high intensity workouts, right? Um, I'd say superset workouts, if you guys know what that is. Again, link in, link in the description. My Patreon explains what all this stuff is. But superset workouts, that means you're not taking nearly as much breaks. You're in the gym, you're in and out, you're in and out. You 30, to 40, 30 minutes to about an hour. You don't need to be in the gym the whole day. 30 minutes to about an hour, but you're sweating. I'm talking, you need to be coming out that gym drenched in sweat. Okay? And when you sleep, I say shoot, sleep with a hoodie on, bro. I, I know it sounds nasty, but if you really want to lose the weight a lot faster, it's that easy. Sleep with a hoodie on, bro. You need to be outside all day in the heat, man. But make sure you're drinking water and you're staying healthy as well. But you want to you want to reduce and, and, and get rid of all the lap fat and all that waste out of your body. And sweating is the best way to do that. Okay? So enter a caloric deficit and then sweat a lot. And how do you sweat a lot? Well, you do high intensity workouts for a shorter period of time. Or you could do lower intensity workouts for a longer period of time. Like you can go on a jog, but don't go on a jog for 30 seconds. Go jog for 20, 30 minutes. You go on a walk. But essentially all that's doing is sweating. All that sweating, sweating is essentially cutting out all fat on your body. Okay? It's that simple, man. So if you like this type of video, I know what to do, man. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the crew. Comment down below any questions that y'all got for me, man. You know someone got y'all. And don't forget, I have a Patreon link in the description. And it really explains the whole thing. It gives you a meal plan. It gives you a specific workout plan for whatever you desire. And it also gives you... Um, you know, an understanding and comprehension of everything that I'm saying here as well. So with that being said, if you're looking to lose weight, I got that in Patreon. If you're looking to bulk, got that in Patreon. If you're looking to cut, got that in Patreon. If you're looking to get stronger, got that there. If you're looking to get more explosive, right, got that there. The biggest thing that people completely ignore when working out is every workout has a specific purpose behind it. Of course, workouts are diverse, but essentially every workout has a specific purpose behind it. Right? Like there's a difference between just doing regular squats and doing explosive squats. Right? There's a difference between doing bench and doing incline. Right? Every workout has a specific job. So in order to understand that type of stuff, man, it's, that's a whole other video, man. Y'all see, y'all see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all into it. But look, if you like these type of advice, if you like these type of videos, hit that thumbs up button, man. Let me know if you got any other questions. Patreon link in the description. Y'all make sure I go follow that, man. Either than that, though, baby, we going smooth.